So hello, and welcome to Fatal Frame 2, Grism Butterfly, the PS2 version, not the Wii remake or the Xbox um, remake, Director's Cut, as they call it. <coughs> Soft coughing, for context, um, for a little bit of context, for the few that may not know, I've decided a few weeks ago to go through the whole Fatal Frame franchise. I already played the first one, which is why I'm on the second one. And I am going through the PS2 versions. Let me just make sure the demo won't play. Because it is the versions that I grew up playing in. Now here's the thing about Fatal Frame 2 and 3 for that matter. I spoke with my sister. Yes, I have a sister. I spoke with my sister about horror games we used to play in the past. And curiously enough, she said the one I played the most was the first one. So I was trying to remember if I actually finished the second and the third one. And I don't think I did. I played them a lot. I did I played them a lot. I do remember playing them. However, I guess I played them at the same time. And me, with my teenage uh, patience and dedication to finishing a game at the time. And I only bought a PS2 and a, and a Wii and consoles that were releasing games left and right at the same time. And soon enough I would learn the magic of Steam. I'm pretty sure I never finished Fatal Frame 2 and 3. I did finish quote unquote the first one. For reasons I already discussed. But I don't think I ever finished the second one. No, my sister promised. It went for the demo anyway. We're gonna be seeing this as an intro cutscene. So yeah, this is gonna be... I guess almost a blind playthrough. I do know the general structure of the game. And now we're already speaking for three minutes. So let's just begin. Oh, difficulty. No loading. Didn't we always promise each other that we would always be together? So it is the same thing as the first one, where the cutscenes are in a different resolution compared to the game. Is your leg okay? Does it hurt? It does a little, but I'm fine. Mia? Yes? <laughs> Never mind. About that time back then. Mayu? Mayu! Where are you going? The Jesus.
And we're in the game. Are we? We are in the game. Okay. I gotta see the controls real quick. If I can do it. Uh, no, I can't see the controls. Okay, never mind. Can I run? How do I run? Okay. Again, there is no subtitles. So, um, if there was, I would have put it on the very beginning. It's a very janky toy. Auto drop, roll credits. I've heard about this place. A long time ago, there was a village here that disappeared during a festival. People who get lost in the woods are trapped by the village. Could this be that place? I don't know. Chapter 1, The Lost Village. So, unlike the first game, I heard singing before, but there's nobody here. Unlike the first game, where I'm able to talk for more than 5 seconds before being interrupted, in this game, we found straight up the person we are looking for. However, we seem to have been spirited away. And we gotta become pigs now. Something on the ground. There are several pieces of paper and photo inside. A news clipping from a year ago. The headline reads, Geological Survey Surveyor Missing. News clipping. With the start of construction for our gods them approaching. Masumi Makimura, 26. A geological surveyor dispatched to the area has gone missing. Mr. Makimura went to the area to investigate the site that would be submerged once the dam was built, but hasn't been heard for five days. Another one. The search for Masumi Makimura, 26, the surveyor missing since the 4th of this month, came to a close yesterday. Mr. Makimura had been helping to conduct a geological survey for our god's dam. As of yesterday, he has been missing for 10 years. A photo of a man and woman attached to the news clipping. You put the news clipping and a photo of a couple in your file. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's is this, I wonder? He's a, this he's a geological surveyor of 26 years old, which name I just forgot. He came to investigate the, uh, the construction of a new dam and disappeared for five days. You are not paying attention. Oh, I, I don't have a camera. I don't have a camera. A statue of guardian deities appears to be carving of twins. There seems to be many statues just like this one through the village. Excuse me. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> Mio? Yeah. Okay. 
Ah, uh, not another ghost that I can't take a picture. Oh yeah, keep it in mind. Um, hold on. Cutscene. I don't want to kill anyone. <laughs> As I was trying to say, no, don't go too far. And now I'm gonna finish, or at least start saying it. I am using another uh, texture mod, except that this one, unlike the first one, isn't finished yet. So there may be some discrepancies on uh, some visual details here or there. A page torn from notebook is near the certain fireplace. I've heard humors about the lost village before. Long ago, a massacre occurred on the day of a ceremony, and the village was wiped from the map. Twin deity statues in the forest lead, lead lost people to the village entrance. Once you pass through the gates, however, you can't go back. The village eternally relieves that night of death. The insane laughter of a woman is said to echo through the village. The only survivor of the massacre at the village was a lone woman. I know there is a giant kimono. I know there is a safe spot over here. Because I saw it through the window. Another one. Sometimes I send someone passing by the window. He carries a torch and mothers things. He seems to be searching for somebody, but it's not Masumi. In the distance, I can hear some kind of sad ceremonial song being sung. They say that his village vanished on the day of a ceremony, and that day is repeated over and over again. It sounds like there is someone crying. Okay, now where to? Can I go down here? No, I have to follow the stairs. Okay, let's try this way first. Can go this way. No, now I can. Nah, the idea of going this way first is. Is that I investigate the first floor first. And then I go to the second. It's locked. Get out of my way, woman. Jesus. What about this way? Oh, I can go this way. It's a bit cold. Oh, the window is open. In a lot of places. The third one. 
Masumi, it's me, Miyako. I came to look for you. Let's go home together. Together, we can make it. Help for me if you find us. I'll be nearby. Miss you. I wonder if anyone's really here. Well, I'm here. Why are you so needy? What are you looking at? Oh, the woman. Okay, now I'm going to the third floor. Third floor, next floor. Yeah. Oh, I can't? Can I go or can I not go? What's wrong? What happened? There was someone over here. Yeah, I saw it. We've kind of been following her for a while, but I want to go to the next floor. Are you coming? It's going to be quick. We search for something and then we go down there and die, okay? I promise you will, be, you will die in a second. There's a padlock engraved with a family crest representing Ginger on the door. Ginger? I just... what? I just checked the door. What do you want? Someone here. Well, I just checked the door and I couldn't go in. Are you coming or not? I talk to you again? Yeah, I can open the door. I need... I need a key. And that's how there is to it. Okay. The door is slightly ajar. And it's the only time where the door is not a door. Something's strange about this place. There's a flashlight on the table. Seems like the batteries are still good. Someone must have left it here. A notebook is under the flashlight. Camera pointers is reading on the cover. Hmm. Tutorial? This camera was made by Dr. Asso to take photographs of beings in a spiritual plane that normally cannot be seen. This is the first time this name is dropped. Because before it was just like a camera that belonged to a, a folklorist that came to the mansion. Not, not even that. It was a camera that belonged to the family that, that was found in the mountains. It was a camera that was found in the mountains. It didn't have an owner. And through the camera, you could see ghosts. This is the first time that the camera is given, like, a previous owner. <clears throat> or a maker. No, no, no. It can review events from the past through the lingering thoughts of individuals. It is also able to photograph spiritual beings that are invisible to the human eye. Taking a photo of an unseen being as has an exorcismal effect, but simultaneously creates a sort of a sort of link with them. If the camera obscura is used for carelessly, these beings may even gain the upper hand on the user. I wonder if I can photograph the site at the heart of this village forbidden ritual. If Dr. Asa were here, I'm sure he would be excited. Seijiro Makabe. It's no shorter than a flashlight. Seems like it's originally from this house. <gasps> Star camera. What was that? 
he did not get owned. Consider yourself lucky. Tutorials. Basic camera operation. <laughs> the camera obscura is a special camera na -na 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 -na, where the face reaction where the spirit is. The filament at the bottom right of the screen, the top of the viewfinder will glow. Once you locate the spirits, raise the camera with the circle. When you find a spirit, send them in the viewfinder screen and press the shutter button, being X or R1, to take a photo of it. The default settings. There is nothing. Can I... Controls? Okay, I'll find the controls later. Let me finish recording this first part and then I'll see about the controls. Can't go this way. Something on the floor. Oh. Remedies. Can you? Woman! You! Are you serious? Get out of my way! Hi! You're very close. That is now... a circle. Door woman. Hide. It's gone. Come on, let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. I think I may have blown with the microphone. Oh, we said you can capture things that ordinary people can see with this camera. Could this be the power of the camera obscura? Can I leave? That's a good question. Can I leave? Pretty sure now, if I wanted, I would be able to find some hidden ghosts. But I'm kind of in a hurry. Not really, but, you know. Let me save the game. Oh, the door is held shut by some kind of powerful force. Oh, boss fight. Is it a boss Vanishes a door. Hello. <laughs> nice face. <laughs> what? A different play shows in a photo. Looks like a cool brazier somewhere. A cool, not a cool one. Put a coal brazier in the photo. Okay. It's a coal brazier, not a cool one. It's better for some herb from the serbs. Come on, hurry up. Also, do I have film time? No, I don't. I, I still don't have infinite type 7. Let's 
think Infinite Type 7 won't happen to the third game. There is no one here. What are you talking about? Okay, there may be someone. Something shows in the photo. Looks like an injured man. I mean, I guess a bundle of faces makes more sense than a random talisman. Oh, there's a reloading time. I forgot about that. And... This is the game where it began. Where even if I have the subject straight up on the middle, even if I take a picture of the subject, whatever it may be, if it is not perfectly centered and exactly as the game wants it to be, I am not gonna get maximum points. So for that guy, I got 500 points and something. But, I, but maybe if I took it a little bit more to the left, I could have gotten a thousand. Maybe. I'm not gonna save again. I may regret that. It's open. There's like a night an action beyond the lattice. Atrium? Atrium? You can see a deck beyond the atrium. There's a hanging... There's a hanging painting here, but it's faded, so you can't even see the color of the flowers. A bed? A bed? A panel? Some covers? A person points in the obvious. I saw the bed. And yeah, there's a lamp on it. There is a person-shaped lamp on this person-made bed. And a notebook. Someone, anyone, whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in this village. Help me. There's some old bedding spread on the floor. There's a lamp on it, as if someone... as if there's something inside. And that's about it. Sliding door in the closet won't open anymore. Maybe it's warped. Okay, wasted our time. Getting out of here. Neil. I saw that. Why is the music getting more frantic? There is something shiny in the closet. A ginger key. I... Mm. Oh, what, 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 no, 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 I'm, I'm gonna miss it. I missed it. I missed it. Dang it. I didn't I, I I took the picture. What? <laughs> I took that picture. Sung in fireplace, room, whatever. Subject, apparently nothing. It was blue and everything, but hey, you like. Screw you, I guess. Back on there. Okay, so you want me to go that way. I'm going this way. Surface of the folding screens has come loose and is falling off. Was probably a painted scene at one time, but it's hard to tell now.
Romans Notebook 6. Did I get the fifth one? How much time has passed since I came here? How long would this night last? I can't take the darkness. It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. I have to see Mazumi. Sumi. Did I get the fifth one? I didn't. I missed the fifth one somewhere. Well, it's gonna it's gonna be missing. It's probably on the very beginning. I must be tired. If I start to relax, I pass out. Even in a crazy place like this, the darkness here is creeping into my dreams. Slaughtered rivers of blood, fallen people, a woman in a bloodstained kimono, insane laughter, and twin sisters calling out don't kill me. The woman's laugh is searing into my mind. I don't want to sleep anymore. Stands behind. The ghost of my sister. Masumi found my note. He was in the village. I could see him soon. I can't move. I wait here. He'll be back. He'll find a way out. If he comes back. He came. Oh, not in public. She also became trapped here. She came into this house looking for her boyfriend. And then, where did she go? This place must be... Oh. Capturing exor exor doing that to ghosts. Yeah, you can exorcise spirits by taking photographs of them with a the camera obscura. The greater the response indicated on the charge gauge in the charge in the capture circle, the greater damage you can inflict on the spirits. When the charge gauge glows red, that instant is a shot of chance. If you can shoot during this instance, you can inflict heavy damage on the spirits and repel it back further. Using the blast back ability will push back an approaching spirit. You must have film to shoot. When shooting in succession, you have to wait for the next shoot to load before shooting again. While loading, pressing the shutter button will have no effect. Load time is shown on the top right of the screen. High power film gives more damage and loads quicker. Where is she? Oh, she's on a wall. Of course she is. That's a zero shot, okay. So the music actually follows the ghost, but it's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. Uh, oh, there she is. Can you die? Are you dead? Again? You are. Okay.
Train Shroud. Oh, Chapter 2. I mean, there is something on the floor. Aragonite. A spider stone. Looks like a glowing blue crystal. The spirit must have dropped it. Once you find a spirit stone radio, can you use the radio on the menu to listen to stones? And a spirit orb. Spirit orb are items used to raise the maximum levels of the camera's basic functions of bar up lenses. Use a spirit orb for the function upgrades of the camera menu to increase the maximum level of a camera function of bar up lenses. After adding a spirit orb to one of the camera's basic functions of bar up lenses, you can raise its level by using the points of accumulated through capturing spirits. So two things. One, I may have done combat a little bit weirdly. And second, the way the camera works in this game, unlike the first one, now that I'm, I'm remembering stuff. On the first one, the spirit orbs, if I remember well, they were just ammo for me to use the special lenses. The special powers, like Paralyzing the ghost, slowing the ghost, making uh, the camera follow the ghost without me just going haywire with the camera. Now, instead of that, in order for me to increase any of the basic stuff, I need spirit stones. Spirit stones are used to level up. So yeah, this is gonna be complicated. I'll deal with this in, in the off time. For the time being, I just have to think and ponder. Some kind of device is on the table. Looks like a radio. Just radio for the menu to hear the spirit voices you've collected. Through the use of crystals in the circuits, this improved version of the crystal radio is able to tune into voices from the spirit world. This is the first time you've seen this, for sure. If a person wears a crystal for a long time, Hmm. Their thoughts will remain within, creating a special type of crystal as a spirit stone. According to Dr. Asso, the radio can... <laughs> so if you're telling me if this is... If I'm wearing a J.O. crystal... <laughs> and I decided that I want to transmit the feelings of my J.O. crystal to my bros. He can use the radio to hear the... Oh my god, no. He can he can broadcast the, the, the feelings, the, the emotions in the form of sounds through his environment by using a crystal radio. But he must carry a J.O. crystal, so I can guarantee that I'm not wasting my time. Okay. It's just a different, a, a cool way of um, seeing messages. Hmm, so it's the... the man. Anything? Oh, there is one. Folklorist. The ceremony master, Mr. Kurosawa, gave me a very warm welcome. The village, chief has n the village has no chief. The ceremony master presides over the village. I wonder if this village was founded by people who wanted to preserve the sacred rituals and festivals. Most notable among our god's folklore is the Gate of Hell. Legend, it's the gate of hell legend that has been passed down for years. It is an archetypal tale of a gate for hole or hole. Dharma, reading too fast again. It is an ar archetypal tale of a gate or hole that marks the border of the world of the dead, also called Hades, the underworld or the netherworld. It is a forbidden place that is feared and hated, but is also worshipped as worshipped as wor worship worship it worshipped ah. Grammar as well. The idea of hell has been a core belief of humans since the ancient times. This village supports the theory that the belief is universal. The forbidden ritual regarding this gate of hell that takes place here is something no one is allowed to see or speak of. This strict taboo is probably the result of a ceremony concerning the border with hell coming closer to the living world. Villagers lead a simple life. Deep in the mountains, they struggle to forage food for their daily meals. The village has little contact with the outside world. They continue to practice the ways of old, frozen in time. Hmm. 
So it's a village of woodland hicks here in the middle of the mountains that disappeared for some reason because of some old ritual that didn't work again. Oh, we're playing as Mayu. The image quality sucks. <laughs> it's blurry. It's static here. It's black and white. And I'm pretty sure it's a game thing. Oh, there's an item. I wonder if I can find the diary that I missed. He found some camera equip equipment and film. Acquired to slow power up lens. So slow down the movement of a spirit. Spirit power required one. Upgrade extends duration. Temporarily slows down the movement of spirits being photographed. To use, press the triangle button when you charge one or more spirit power points. While this effect is active, the spirit will move slower and shorter chances will be longer, making the spirit easier to capture. This is especially effective against quick spirits or spirits that are difficult to time. Raising the level of this effect extends the duration. Goody. Camera equipment and film. The measured equipment function. When this function is equipped, it shows the remaining HP of the closest spirits in the capture circle in the viewfinder upper left corner. I didn't get the film though. I'm gonna save the game and continue. Let me explore this. I'm gonna explore this place a little bit more. If I find something, I'll come back. If not, I'm just gonna leave. Yep. Starting with some marble mats. And. Hi, are you aggressive? I can't seem to take a picture. I'll take you that you are some kind of aggressive ghost. That you are, okay. Tough. The timing on that is so small. Are you sh There we go. Ah, yeah. Also, the game says the power charges, but it feels like it is more like a... Like the closer the ghost is, the stronger the shot will be. If I can take the shot. Thank you. Okay. Did you drop anything? It did. Moonstone. Things for the radio. And a spirit orb. Moonstone that's given off a fair white glow was probably left by the woman in the box.
in the darkness. Sorry. Oh, there is something. Maybe, oh, at least there was something. Oh, is it through the net? It is. No, nope, that's... Frozen woman. Did she freeze? I mean, of course she did. Or like, by the spiritual energy? By the miasma? By the darkness? Or did she just... I don't know, naturally freeze? She came here on winter and she didn't have a coat. That kind of freeze. Oh, uh, you're an enemy. You're a random encounter. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I'm not gonna be fighting every single thing I see. Give me five seconds. You're not even looking at me. I'm going this way. I mean... You, you, you appear, you show up, but you're not even turn around, you don't say hi, you don't give me a, a biscuit. I know I invaded your house, but like, the least you can do is shoo me out. Excuse me. There is, is there something in the garden? It felt like there was. Village report one. Maybe they belong to the missing surveyors. For some reason, one of the statues in the form of twins is in the form of twins. I have also found a description of a twin deity statue in the writings lying around the house. I looked down in the old well, but it was pitch black, and I couldn't see a thing. If you listen closely, you can only hear wind blowing, and it seems that the water has all dried up. I can't tell. I found a small shrine at the top of a long set of stairs shrouded in mist. It seems very old, but is well made, and has not fallen into disrepair. The entrance has a large butterfly. I came to this hill to take a look at the gates I passed through when I entered the village, but when I tried to find it, they seem to be a surveyor details of various locations, but the entries are cut off. Must be something at this place is wrote about. There is an old well, and it feels like the PNG is failing a little bit, right on this spot. Hmm. The PNG, that was kind of rude. Should I? Okay. Thank you, cell phone. Maya's charm. Use radio on the menu to listen to the words held by the stone. There's a radio stone. So what I remember of Maya's charm is different from the other other stones. Got that? Yes. Different from the other stones, this one actually updates. Like if I wanted to find another message left by the couple, by the severe couple, I would have to fight another Aragonite, so on and so forth. Also, I'll look at my recording. I'm reaching one hour. 
there is a chance I may actually... Ah, huh, frozen man. I may actually uh, cut the video in the middle of the episode. Because the first one I was able to like, oh, let's make one episode each video. And in this game, it seems that it's not going to be like that. I run down well, there is no water left in it, and a faint wind blows from the dark depths. The surveyor must have been here. Near the well, there is a piece of a note. I looked down to the well, but it was pitch black, and I couldn't see a thing. If I listen closely, I can only hear wind blowing, and it seems that the water is all dried up. I can't tell which was here first, the house or the well. Neither has been used in a while. According to the records, this house used to belong to a powerful Tuchibara family, so the house was first. In this village, the Osaka, Kiryu, and Tachikiryu, and Tachibana families were also influential. Each house had its own crests and held power in the village. Well, if you're gonna have power somewhere, you gotta be the house of the dragon. As a group, they were also in charge of a special ritual. Each was a branch of the Kurosawa family, who had ministered to the ceremony. They performed the whole of priests. The Kurosawa name is scattered throughout the literature, but no concrete information is written. I have no doubt that he held absolute power through, though. Power though. Where in the world did the villagers go? And how do you get out of this village? The answers to this question lies within the Kurosawa house. I'm not sure how I know, but I have a strong feeling about this. Cool. Now oh, save the game. Seems to be locked. Oh, I can go. I didn't expect to be able to. Excuse me. What are you still doing here? Who are you? The ritual will begin soon. If that happens, you're back, huh? Yai, you and Sai have to get out of here. She's at the ceremony master's house. She's gonna do it. Go get her. There's still time to catch up with her. Yai, the ritual is about to start. Hurry. An NPC. A trapped boy, and not a ghost, I, I think. There's a statue of a guardian deity here, but it looks like twins is carved into his face. There seems to be many statues- okay, it's the same thing. It's like this weird jizzo, except instead of being- uh, If you cannot find a way to leave the village, come and find me. I may be able to help. Okay. Okay, okay. Not because usually the Jizo is this little Buddha thing that they spread throughout the roads where you can pray and wish for safe travels and stuff like that. It's like a guardian thing. Like, little guardian. <laughs> but in this game, the Jizos are twins. And I guess since people don't go out, like, the guardians just like protect the village. There's another save over there. You know what I gotta do? I'm saving the game, you can't stop me. Can I check this? The door is broken, you can see into the dim house. There are other rooms further in, but you can't see, see them from here. Okay. It's a whole ass village. Another Jizo. Ah, oh, safe point. Should I? Yeah, I'm gonna go through the house first. Oh, can go through the house first. Okay. Okay. 
so many of these Jizzle things. And no birds. By now we've expected to see like a crow or something. Oh. I just went silent. Well, I guess this is a different era of gaming, where you don't have just random animals making them present snow for the sake of ambience. There's something on the ground. Like you have to rely on uh, depth of fields and fog and less particles. And what am I looking at? These commands are still kind of assy. I am looking at something. Is it a door? Shrine Shadow. Someone hiding behind shrine. On the door of what appears to be a shrine, a large butterfly mark is displayed. The surveyor must have been here. On the stairs in front of the entrance, a piece of note lies. I found a small shrine at the top of a long set of stairs shrouded in mist. Seems a very, it seems very old, but it's well made, and has not fallen into dis disrepair. The entrance has a large butterfly crest painted on it. It's the same as the one in the building beyond the large bridge. Butterflies seem to have a special meaning, just like twins. They are frequently mentioned in this ritual literature. Butterfly means something else to the villagers too. I notice how the, wo the words always appears in writings around the ritual. There's a bong. I may not know its exact meaning, but the fact that a butterfly... Stop with the bong. Butterfly crest is on a shrine indicates that it's a very special indeed. I should investigate further. I'm gonna keep being bonging on my ears. Was in center. God damn it! But I got more, got more points. Have to keep myself busy. Walking along the haunted town, with nothing happening. See, see. S -s sister oh i can't take the picture sissy where did sissy come from i was looking for a rhyme you guys oh there is more doors hold up can i go inside this one oh yeah this is the biggest difference as well comparison to the first game. The first game was in like one mansion. I can't go in. Wow. Was in one mansion. But granted, it's a big mansion. But still, a single place. This game is a whole village. So that is a lot more backtracking. A lot more places to look at. And twice the side quests. Ah, there's a bug. See the mines? It's underground, it's a hidden tunnel. What is oh What is all this? There is a hidden door in the hidden tunnel. You don't have to hide everything, you know. Ow wow wow flashing lights. So aggressive. No, this film is mine. 
I mean, I don't get affected by flashing lights, but I am playing in the dark. The heavy cloth sways in the wind. Well. Door is locked. I, I don't get, like, seizures. But I am playing in the dark. Flashing lights may or may not give me a headache. Or are you just plain annoying? More meds. There is a locked door that I can see from this side. And that I can open. Never mind, it's not locked. Ooh. Oh, there's something. Chrysobarrel. Chrysobarrel. Someone's suffering, asking why, why her? Well, I kind of understand. Hmm, stunned. Effects inter intermittently stops the movement of a spirit. Stops the movement of the spirits being photographed. Inter intermit yeah. While this effect is active, the spirit will stop off and on, making it easier to grab a shutter chance. This is especially effective against quick spirits or spirits that are difficult to... Okay, it is a downgrade. A little bit more expensive in comparison to um, slow. Folklore is too. Thanks, guy on a motorcycle. Pre really appreciate it. The Guardian Deity statues in this area are different in that they are engraved with shrine maidens. The village children say that the statue of honor of the, go the gods of the village. Children. Also, a book in the house links to the statues to something called the Crimson Sacrifice. Maybe the forbidden rituals related to this Crimson Sacrifice. Mm, excuse me. Small lamp lights the surface of the stable. Cool. I know I'm remembering the crystal barrel. I know that this game has more cutscenes. This game has more cutscenes. Something shows in the photo. Looks like prison butterflies. Great. Here they are. Excuse me? Oh! Uh, people. Actual people. Just two of you, I hope. One with a torch, one with a stick. Catch ball. I'm just gonna start. Taking shots. Otherwise, they're gonna stay here forever. Ah, the camera is going. Okay. This feels like they have tried to circle me. I hate this. If I move too close, they try to circle me. I don't like this movement. Wow, nice window. I want this dead? It is. Okay. You're gonna do something. It's gonna backpedal. Yeah, it's gonna backpedal. I'm gonna take pot shots. I'm gonna stay here forever. There we go. Thank you. You're gonna drop something. 
Loot. 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 Treasure? No? Okay. Oh, butterflies. Can I take the picture? No? Closer, maybe? Just follow the butterflies. I'm going, I'm going. Is it really this way? It is, okay. I mean, there was still one place that I needed to take a picture. Was is that you? Not really, but let's go again. Oh, excuse me. Okay. You're back. You are back. Yay, you and Sarah have to get out of here. She's She is at the ceremony master's house. She's going to do it. Go get her. There's still time to catch up with her. The keys to the gate are enshrined, enshrined in twin deity statues. Look for statues like that somewhere in the village. Yai, if we escape, I'm sure we can avoid the fate of the Twin Shrine Maidens. Don't give up. The Twin Shrine Maidens. So it was another Shrine Maiden that ruined everything. Something shows in the photo. Looks like crimson butterflies. Crimson butterflies fluttered over the statue of guardian deities. Cute. Is this one of them? Nope. They didn't trigger a photo. Is this one of them? They didn't trigger- oh, that one. Okay. So the ones that I need to take a picture of appears to have butterflies on them. Examination of the lower portion of the statue uncovers a small wooden block. Nito. Oh, you. Yeah, I'm just gonna scooch all over. Okay, now that I have everyone that I need in front of me. I'm gonna start shoot I'm gonna start shooting wildly. I can't see there is so much smoke in my face, I can't see anything. Yeah sure. It's always like this. Chapter 2, nothing happens, and then a few ghosts appear, but it's still nothing happens. Nothing important. Chapter 2, Chapter 1, but then Chapter 2, things get a little bit more complicated, but it's still nothing important. Chapter 3 is the one I die a lot. And then on the ending, I just pull the ending out of my ass. As if I just began playing the game. And nothing bad will happen. Absolutely nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There is fire on the horizon. Hold on. Okay. What's messing up with the camera? Because I forgot to do it. Is a big slab in the middle of the road. A dilapidated Shinto gate stands here. This must have been the gate that the surveyor records mentions. In the grass lies a piece of a note. I came to this hill to take a look at the gates. I passed through when I entered the village, but when I tried to find it, the ruined gate was buried under trees and other flora. Can't find the path that we used to get here. The hill is called Misono Hill. 
According to the literature, this location plays a key role in the ceremony. Right in the middle lies a massive rock, known as the Offering Stone, and the surrounding area is protected by wards. This Offering Stone also seems to be a cover for sealing some kind of hole. The hell hole is... wide open? Right in the open? It's not wide open, there's a big rock on top of it, but... It's not in a cave or anything, it's just here. A sort of hole needs a gigantic stone like this for a cover. Why does it need to be covered at all? What if this is the very thing I've been searching for, the way out of the village? I have to check this out more thoroughly. Then we back off a little bit. Gate checker. Pretty sure this is the last one. Now if memory serves me right, if I go back to the first house, I'll complete saying little side quest. Examination the lower bottom, okay another piece of the key. What lies beyond this path? Amongst the mists. And the singing wind, what? And the wooden bridge? And the... Where am I? Oh, it's a graveyard. I see. And a static graveyard. At the roots of the giant tree, there is a hole. It appears to lead into some sort of cave. Can I go in? I guess not. Not yet. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Glowing blue crystal. For the radio. Spirit orb. Okay. I was needing this. I have an excessive amount of points from killing random ghosts and not enough of those and I guess that's it I'm gonna read the radio and then go back to where I... oh, my charm as well, okay There is no time just one of them must suffice Hurry for the village we must perform the ritual ourselves Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Casting a large gate over a bridge inside a big house. There are many. Upstairs, there are dolls, puppets. Yeah, a large gates beyond the bridge, inside a big mansion. Upstairs, there are dolls. In there, The darkness and fog are so thick you can't see very far. Okay. Uh, do I have to fight this? I don't really want to fight this. The guy with the pole is a bit of an issue. And the guy with the torch as well. Yeah, I'm not gonna fight this. Goodbye. Bye bye. Catch you later. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> I mean, I'll have plenty of opportunity to get more points in a later date, but for the time being, if I can avoid.
Are you serious? Are you that dense? Okay, I'm checking a side quest. Looks like I can enter it. Okay. Okay, I actually went to check a guide because I know that's in there. That there is a side quest on chapter 2 involving the surveyors and it's in a pretty difficult, somewhat difficult boss fight. For that I need to complete the, the diary, the surveyor diary. And I'm missing one spot that I accidentally skipped because it isn't, it is not very obvious. Unless you're somewhat cultured, which I'm not. I'm not cultured. Very cultured. Like, I understand the significance of some, um, like, old Japanese traditions and stuff, but this one, actually, I forgot. That's why I just went missing in my head. Also, maybe because of the mod pack, but I didn't notice um, this path. And it's not here. Um, I'm supposed to look for a statue with a pinwheel. Oh, this one. Like, this is a... Okay, in my screen, it's a little bit harder to see. Looking on OBS is a little bit easier. Maybe on the recording... It is just as easy. There's a roll of statues of guardian deities here. They're carvings of children. There's, they have been worn away by winds and rain. You can't even see their expressions anymore. So if I leave, no. It has to be on the pinwheel. Oh, in front of the statue there is a portion of a note. For some reason, one of the statues in the form of twins. I've also found a description of a twin deity statue with the writing sliding around the house. In this region, twins serves as unusual purpose. Pur purpose, whatever. Twin sisters or brothers perform a special ritual here. Each time the ritual is completed, a new twin deity statue is placed somewhere in the village. The ritual occurs every few decades, and judging by the number of twin deity statues, this tradition is very old. For some reason, one of the twins always has his head broken off. Sometimes they are sculpted without a head from the start. Maybe it doesn't mean anything, but something here doesn't feel right. I'm beginning to think that I was wrong to leave Miyako behind alone. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find any detailed information about the twin ritual. I have to find a way to get out of here fast. And now if I try to leave, he appears. Okay. And there we go. Seems to be another note made by the surveyor. How many days have I been in this village? Two? Maybe three? Feels like I've been here for years. In this village of endless nights, it's easy to lose all sense of time. Miyako is utterly exhausted. Sometimes she manages to give me a weak smile. But only makes me more uncomfortable. Physically and mentally, she's running on empty. Haven't found a way out of here yet, but sifting through the material I gathered in the village again, I found a clue. A gigantic underground tunnel, called a passageway, connects all the important locations in the village. It is used for a travel between the houses during the ceremony and also to store important items. It's difficult to estimate the scale of the passages from the map, but there is sure to be a way out through here. I didn't find any information about the entrance to a passageway. However, there must be a clue somewhere in the Kurosawa house, as they just presided over the ceremony. I've decided to leave Miyako here and search the Kurosawa house alone. I found a way out of the village and then come back for her. Sorry about the dogs. Okay, again, I looked through the guides. Because I went to the room where 
the side quest supposed to end and nothing happens. So I look through the guides and well, no guides that I can find says that a fight to surveyor couple now. I seem to fight, I know that I fight them at some point. This is one thing that I remember. But I think I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer. And I also may have learned something that I shouldn't have learned yet about the game. Which people... Let me just say that people that are seeing me playing this game as I just booted it up as a brand new game may know what I'm talking about. You inserted the tw two twin style keys into the left and right doors. If you do know and you watch me playing this, please don't post it on the comments. Some people may get annoyed by that. I will get annoyed by that. Herbal meds. Excuse me. I supposed to excuse me oh floating woman is it a boss fight Hello. Maybe a boss fight. Okay, she's doing read movements. Where is she gonna? Are you kidding me? Did you leave something for me? You did. Hmm. A green crystal. And another spirit orb. And another picture. Another there's another picture. Drown woman. Okay. Keep saying something about the dark. That's a nice skybox. Very nice skybox. Like just the clouds going like a, a thousand miles per hour in the distance. Bloody kimono. Oh, safe point. Anything I should be aware of around here? No, that isn't okay.
Oh. Why are you in the dark? Being a big old creep. Oh. The flashlight. Oh. So for this chapter, I am... Um, well, not in the dark. Repentance. Well, actually... It seems like other spots. Oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna leave this video and this chapter here. There is no... Chapter ends. Go back to the main menu and save the game. So this may be a little bit jarring. Also, I just noticed that I'm on top of the filaments. I'm going to fix this for the next part. I am right on top of the filament. I didn't look to the side and look up to my... Ah, God damn it. Sorry about that. See you next time. Thanks for watching.